Oh. It's the first of April, yeah? Mm. Up last night, in a ferial, yeah? Portland. Cut out. How much dead? One dead? Two, two dead. Father and son dead. Father and son dead. Two. Father and son dead. Daughter, daughter in the hospital. Daughter in the hospital. Father and son dead. Father in the hospital. Um, daughter in the hospital. Last night, Portland, fear ill. Up there, so. Mm, name Beat. You name Beat from where? Yeah, I am. Sit there. Sit there. Gone. Father and son dead. Last night. Fear real. Sit there. Crash on the wall up here, sir. Crash show you the wall where they slam in. Yeah. Last night that see there. Cash up here so on the wall. See the wall there with the slam in The wall there with the there. Yeah. Last night. Fear real. Get our mash up. I show the trick. Say road in my company. Mm-hmm. Say road. Like other side they might come from full hundred. It's a fear real. And slam up in there so. Overturn. Two dead, father and son. Daughter at the hospital. So, and we cut them out. Pshhh, papi, 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 papi. Que pasa, sac, passe, what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the med scarlet news with a buzz. There's a saying that goes something like this. A wise man learns from his mistake. Wise a man learns from the mistakes of others. However, it seems as if that concept is not properly utilized in a Jamaica. It is more like one fool makes many. The more them see it is the more they want to do the same thing. It has been the history in a Jamaica that whenever there's any sorts of holiday like it was Easter holiday, Easter Monday gone, Yesterday, the road always get kind of creepy. People always lose them life. People always get injured. However, these people will not learn. The same thing can be said about this incident that you hear occurred in a place called Fair Hill, which is important like you hear the man stated in the video. One vehicle looked like some sorts of Suzuki Swift was moving very swiftly. End up in a some sorts of wall going around some sorts of corner, around some sorts of meandering road. People, one thing that is constant is either the road good or the road bad. Is either there is some sorts of big wall, some sorts of tree, some sorts of utility poles. Those poles are not going to remove whenever you lose control. They are going to remain constant. So therefore, if you constantly keep doing the same foolishness over and over, this is definitely going to be the outcome recipe for disaster. Such is the case in this case. Now, people, obviously, I don't know the circumstances that led to these people crashing and losing their life. Don't know if somebody bad drive them, run them off of the road or they were speeding. But based on what these persons are saying on the scene, there were three persons in the vehicle, father and son. Both of them gone. Sister, daughter taken to the place of recovery. Don't know her status. Don't know who was driving. However, one thing that I know, and I am just speaking in general, the mindset of most of these people are the same. They will sit in a minibus, sit in a taxi, sit in a family car, and watch the son or the father drive them like some sorts of a mad bat out of hell. And they actually think that it is entertaining. Joy will always turn to sorrow every day that the bucket goes to the well. One day at the bottom I go drop out. So therefore, if you continue living life on the edge, 
one day you're going to fall over the edge. It's just the odds are probability and possibility. It is called simple mathematics. Simple life lesson. Who oh, want to learn? They'll be okay. Who oh, don't want to hear? Then they will feel. Point blank and period. Further on in the news. Now it seems as if the Clark's phenomenon in Jamaica is becoming problematic. We've heard of several instances in which schoolgirl, schoolboy, step on an ex schoolmate shoes and end up on the other side of life or end up in a place of recovery. Badly pounce upon, badly, B E A T E N. The Clark's thing has been around for a little while, over a couple of decades. However, it seems as if, like them say, this new generation, they don't know how to appreciate anything. And anything with them have, they start to glorify it. They start to make it be problematic with everything that they do. Now, this has gotten a little bit worse when an artist known as Pablo YG posted some sorts of song. And in that song, a couple of lines and I'll quote. If a boy are smarty step on my clocks, me I go S-T-A-B, S-T-A-B, S-T-A-B them up. Now people, truth be told, Pablo YG is a very good artist. Diversified catalog, that means that he has some good song that can resonate with just about anybody. However, when it comes to the dance hall, there are certain topics, meaning badness, S-E-X, down in a throat that flares up the dance hall crowd. So this artist knows that S-E-X sell, controversy, mix-up and drama sells. So what do you think he do? He plays on a present situation that is affecting Jamaica negatively. Because he knows that he is going to get a response. He knows that bloggers like myself, social media personalities are going to say, how could you do this at a time like this? You should be more responsible. You are supposed to be some sorts of role model. Now people, the last time that I check, I don't think that any dancehall artist should be anybody's role model. If anything, they are supposed to be the polar opposite because it is not as if their record is such in which persons should duplicate. In other words, stay away from whatever they say and live your own life. So this youth is getting a bashing on social media because people are saying, Oh, you for say that and so much people are D-E-A-D. -E but people, you have to understand this is called supply and demand. Whatever it is, is the topics that is hot, that cause buzz, that cause view, meaning money, make them relevant. That is exactly what they are going to do. They are going to sing about topics that are going to appease their masses, their fan base. So dear, for the people with moral compass, ethics and talk about, you know, supposed to do that because you are some sorts of role model for the kids. Like I said, the last time I checked, no sorts of dancehall artists should be any sorts of road model. And I'm not trying to discredit any dancehall artist that is out there that is doing any sorts of positive music. However, positivity does not really sell. Not going to say that there is not occasions in which it does. However, most of the time what they want is F-U-C-K-R-Y and more F-U-C-K-R-Y. So therefore, if the market dictates that that is what they are going to do, especially when they are a bunch of fallabaka, yes, men, they are going to go with the trend. And if that trend is hot, that is what they are going to talk about. They are going to talk about topics that is going to flare up the masses and people. That is how they buzz. That is how they keep busy. That is how they make money. So therefore, we have to look at society on a whole and what it ac accepts. And who is the leader and who are the followers. And obviously, the dancehall artists, they are leading most of these young youths astray. However, pursed with sense, should just listen to a song 
analyze and assess pick sense out of nonsense do not act on it however like we know most of these persons out there in the dance hall space they are sheep especially these children that come from some sorts of dysfunctional home they are looking for somebody to lead them lead them mostly astray point blank and period Further on in the news, there's a popular movie known as M-U-R-D-E-R -E at a funeral. Well, people, this one is called M-U-R-D-E-R -E at the cemetery. I guess this body has not too far to go unless, of course, they go through the normal procedures. I am speaking about an incident that occurred in a place called Golden Grove, which happens to be in St. Anne's. Based on the popo information, it is said that residents said that they heard some loud E-X-P-L-O-S-I-O-N-S -S, as if it was B-O-M-B-S over Baghdad at about 10.30, may I talk about Sunday night. However, you know, so whenever people hear anything like that, they are not going to be too curious. They are going to wait until early in the morning, meaning Monday morning. It is said that when the residents went out, they find... Mr. Box, known as Alcan Rose, government name, 56 year old, known in the street as Box or Badness. They found his lifeless body right beside some sort of tombstone, right in the cemetery. People, have you ever seen those commercials in which them drop one big old melon and drop it from some sort of high rise building and then it lick on the floor and just squash out, spread all over? His marrow was pretty much pasted, planted, painted all over that tombstone. People, it was bad. Obviously, he got hit by some sort of high-powered rifle. Now, people, like them say, be very careful about the name that you use. Be very careful about the energy that you put out there. Because when we listen to a man and him name Badness, it is said that based on some sort of voice note that he is from Priory, I am thinking that they are talking about prior in a St. Anne. However, he sells in a mobile, Montego Bay, I think, grabber and stuff like that. So people, me don't know what kind of interaction he is in with any sorts of people. However, it is obvious that he crossed somebody and somebody wanted to X and cross him out. And such is the case in this case. So this is preliminary information. As soon as I get some more pertinent information, I'll be sure to divulge ASAP. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, the picture that you see on the screen is of a young man that lost his life. Maybe less than 24 hours ago at a place called Royal Flats that is in Manchester. Another A-C-C-I-D-E-N-T that could have easily been avoided. Had these persons stick to the road code meaning the speed limit. However, people, them now here so therefore they are going to feel. The voice notes from the video that you heard is of people explaining exactly what happened in intricate details. You heard people saying, all of them vehicle were there and nobody, no one care and go to the hospital. People, at the end of the day, when you put yourself in a very bad predicament, as in speeding like some sorts of mad bat out of hell, and then cause injury and possible D-E-A-T-H to yourself, People are going to think about it and people, is it right or wrong? It is not for me to say. It is not my vehicle. Was not on the scene. But people are going to think real hard. If they want to put any sorts of hard ears person in a them vehicle, for be L O O D up them vehicle, worse when them no know it. People don't even look out for their family nowadays, much less stranger. Much less to put somebody in your vehicle to mess up the whole of your vehicle. 
even though it is a life and it is more important than any sort of stuff. People, I just say, do the right thing or the wrong thing is going to do you. When we look at the picture of this youth and people, I don't like to stereotype, however, I have to. When we look at the typical person that is out there driving like some sorts of mad bat out of hell, this is like the poster child, tattoo up, braid up, bleach out. I don't know if I'm brown or bleach, but I just I say. It signifies or tell of a typical mindset, typical type of persons out there that are causing most of the mayhem and catastrophe upon the road, point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.